Welcome to another Fast Tips video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the On Got Focus event and its cousin on Lost Focus to provide on screen help to your users, which I think looks better than control tip text or the status bar text. It involves a teeny tiny bit of programming. So I am gonna slap the developer label on this one, but don't be scared, it's, it's easy. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. And uh, you're gonna like it. You're gonna get this little help message right down here every time the user tabs from field to field or clicks somewhere. And you can specify exactly what it is. Now, if you've never done any VBA programming in Access before, don't worry, it's easy, don't be scared. Go watch my intro to VBA, it's free. It's on my website and my YouTube channel. It's about 20 minutes long. It'll teach you everything you need to know to get started with VBA. We literally need one line of code to do what I'm going to do in today's class. So it's not hard. Two if you want to erase it. <laughs> okay, so here I am in my Tech Help free template. This is a free database. You can grab a copy off my website if you want to. And I got my customer form. Now, if your users aren't very savvy or if you've got some fields that just have weird information in them and you want to give some explanation as to what goes there, right? You could spell it out here in a big label um, or... You could use something called a control tip text, which I have another video for. If you click on a field and you go to other over here in the properties, go to control tip text, right? And you put in here, this is the user's first name. Okay, save that. And now whenever you go to this field, if you hover over it, you will see this is the user's first name. I don't particularly care for that. I like this more for buttons. If you wanna hover over a button and give someone and more information. That's what I like control tip text for, but for text fields, no, I don't really care for those. And again, I got a whole separate video on control tip text, but I don't think it's suitable for this particular use. So the other option is to use status bar text. So instead of putting that there in the control tip text, there's a thing called status bar text. And that goes down on the bottom here in the status bar. So let's save that, close it, open it back up again. And you can see down here, it says, this is the user's first name, but no one, no one bothers looking down there. You know, you can go through this and do stuff and it says form view most of the time and you click there. No one notices that, right? And if you've got a situation where you really need to describe what's going on on the form to the user for one or more fields, you want it to be more in their face. You don't want to pop up another form. I mean, that's always an option, but I like putting a box on the bottom of the form that describes what's going on. And yes, I'm using this as the user's first name as a simple example, but you know, I've had some databases that I built for customers that was like, okay, this, this rate is the value from box four times the product of boxes three and six, it, that kind of stuff, right? Um, like tax forms, for example, you know, add up lines four through eight and send us all your money, that kind of stuff. Um, all right, so let's get rid of the status bar text. All right, so what I'm gonna use instead is an event called on got focus. It's right there. There's on got focus and on lost focus. Got focus happens when this field gets the focus, when you either tab to it or you click on it, or if the form opens and it's the first field in the tab order, it'll get focus automatically. So let's click on on got focus, dot, dot, dot. Right, that opens up the VB code editor, which we saw in the intro to VB class, right? And just for now, right in here, I'm gonna put message box, uh, how are you doing, right? Save it, close it, close that, close it, open it, and oh, we got our how you doing, why? Because that's the first field in my tab order. So as soon as the form opens, we get that. So I'm gonna click down here, click there, I'm gonna click on that field, how you doing, right? Okay, so that's on got focus. Now, I obviously don't want it to say how you doing every time you click on first name. I want a message down on the bottom. So let's make a spot to put that message. All right, first, let's get rid of the how you doing. Let's go in back into here. I got a button up here that opens up my code editor. All right, I got another video that covers how to do that. But for now, just delete that. We don't need it right now. Goodbye. Okay, let's make a label down here on the bottom that big as big as you think you need it to be you could use a text box if you want to so if you got like really long messages you could have a scroll bar but generally i don't get that big right so i'm going to copy one of the existing labels copy paste control c control v and make this as big as you want it to be like there all right 
uh, format it, make it look pretty. I'm gonna go, not red, let's go blue. And we'll make it maybe 18 point, I don't know. Whatever, how, whatever you feel is noticeable. You want a yellow background? Go ahead, put a yellow background on it, I don't care. Okay, save that, close it, take a peek at what we got. All right, it's a static label, it says country. Okay, we're getting there. Back to design view. Now, double click on this guy, open up its properties. It's called label 30. I don't like that. Let's call this my help label, help label, just like that. Okay, now next, I want to get rid of what's in there. So if, if I don't specify something, this thing shows up as blank. But be careful, don't delete the label on the form, because if you do, it gets rid of the label. That's weird. It's just the way access behaves. So undo, go back there. What you want to do is you want to get rid of the label caption and the properties. And that leaves a blank label behind. I know it's weird. Access does some weird things. It's the same thing where if you had it in here and you, um, and you resize the label, it gets all weird. See, and I, again, I clicked on it and it went away. So control Z, undo, leave it. You got to be careful with it now. All right. Again, you could use a text box. I don't like text boxes because then sometimes people click on them and then they got focus. And then you can use an odd got focus event to force the focus away. There's all kinds of tricks you can play. In fact, in fact, I'm gonna call an audible here. I, I like that. I did this originally with a label, but let's, let, let's get rid of that. Let's do this with a text box. I wasn't thinking about that. That's another great example. Copy, paste the text box, delete the label that comes in with it. Make this guy again, the same size, right? Like this. And I'm gonna format it. Let's make the format um, transparent background and no border. It shouldn't have a border on it. Let's see, shape outline, transparent. Let's make this blue. Let's go that lighter blue. Yeah, that looks good. And we'll go 16 point or 18. Okay, looks good. All right, now let's give it a name. This The labels don't have all the problems. With the label, you just you just modify the caption property, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking the text box might be cool too. Let's call it now, let's call this our help text since it's not a label anymore. All right, help text. Okay, save it, close it, close it, close it, open it. It's still bound to country though, watch this. Okay, still got the country field value in it. So we have to get rid of the data in the box and leave it unbound. So again, open up its properties, go to data, get rid of the control source. And now we should be going. We got an unbound text box sitting there. Okay, all right. Now the problem with before is the user can click on it and then see it. I don't like that. So this is a perfect example of how to use on God focus. We're gonna say, if this box gets the focus, push the user somewhere else, like first name. All right, let's try that. So open up this guy's properties, go to events, go to on got focus, dot, dot, dot. And right here, all you have to say is first name dot set focus. That means move the cursor, move the focus to that other field. There's also do command, go to control, but I like set focus better. All right, let's see how that works. Save it, save it, close it, save it, open it, print it. Well, no, just don't print it. All right, so if I click down here now, boop, you see it goes right back up there, right? Click, boom, goes right up there. Boop, see, every time I click down here, nothing appears to happen, even though it's there, right? It's moving, boop right up to the first name field. You can also make this so it's not a tab stop. Open that up. Oh, I'm sorry, it's not in the properties, it's up top here. Uh, no, I'm sorry, it is. <laughs> I've had too much coffee today, folks. It is in the properties. Other, tab stop, set that to no. Okay, all right. Now, let's get back to the original problem that we had was we need some help text to go in there. So, on got focus events, for the fields that we want to put stuff in. So we'll start off with first name. Okay, event on got focus, dot, dot, dot. Now what do we put in here? We say help text equals, this is the customer's first name. That's it. Save it. Let's do the last name on got focus, dot, 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 help text equals this is the customer's last name and whatever other instructions you want to put in there. Okay, save it, close it, close it, close it, open it. Oh, look at that, this is the customer's first name. And if you click on last name, 
This is the customer's last name. See, isn't that cool? And that's a lot more noticeable than a little teeny tiny text down there or better than a control tip text hovering over it, right? And if you want to, if something's really urgent and important, you can change the colors if you want to as well. Go back to your code, right? You could say in here, um, help text. Let's say this one isn't very important. Dot for color equals BB blue. Okay, maybe this one's urgent. You could say help text dot for color equals VB red. Or if you like using the RGB function, you can go RGB 25500, right? That's a red, green, blue components. I got videos on that too. Go watch this one if you wanna learn more about using colors in VB. All right, but now save it, close it, close it, come back into here. Look at that, now it's blue and that one's red. So if you want to control the color, you can control the background color with the back color property. You can put a border around it. You can change the font size. You can do whatever you want. Moving from record to record. Now, here's the problem. Problem is, if you click on a field that doesn't have a Got Focus event, it doesn't change. It leaves it the way it was. So for each one of these fields where you have a Got Focus event, you also want to have an on lost focus event. I'll show you a way around this in the extended cut. Yeah, there's going to be an extended cut for the members. But for now, the simple way is to simply have an on lost focus event. Same as the on got focus event, but it happens when you leave the field. So on lost focus, all we have to say is help text equals blank. Just like that. Reset the color if you want to, but you don't have to. All right. And we'll come down here to last name. If you click in last name got focus, Drop this guy down. You can find lost focus right here without having to go back to the form. Boop, there it is. And it's down below. So I'm going to slide this up so you can see it. All right? Help text equals nothing like that. Okay? Now, come on back over here. Close it. Close it. Save it. Open it. All right? First name. Last name. Nothing. See? Come back to first name. Come back over here. Come back to last name, and that allows you to show help where help is needed. You might not need something on every field. Okay, makes sense. Got a couple more videos you might want to check out. This one is uh, my Zoom dialog box one. Uh, I show you how you can, in the extended cut for the members, I show you how you can click on a field and it'll automatically pop open the uh, the Zoom box so you can edit it, you know, like a, a large bit of text in a small field using an on got focus event. And in my help system video, I show you how to build a much more context sensitive help system, like an in-depth with rich text, a big you know help box that pops up. You could put colors and highlights in there. Uh, you can do an F1 key to give you context sensitive help. You can do a little question mark button next to a field. So this is for more in-depth help. Like you could put something, you know, you could put a little question mark button over here that says, you know, click the question mark button for help or hit F1 for more help and that thing will pop up. And of course, if you like learning this stuff and you want a nice comprehensive course that goes from A to Z, right? You start here, you do this, you do this, you do this. Instead of jumping around like I do with these fast tips videos, uh, check out my developer lesson. Start with developer one. We go through all the basics and it gets more advanced as you go along. I love doing these tech help videos, but they're not in any particular order. It's just whatever happened, whatever topic I get asked that day or questions I get. But this is my comprehensive course where I teach you everything A to Z. Now, there's gonna be an extended cut. Members, yeah, I do extended cuts for fast tips once in a while. Sometimes these videos start off as fast tips and I think they're gonna take me five minutes and by the time I lay everything out, I'm like, you know what, this is, I, I need more. <laughs> so members, we're gonna make this a function so you don't have to put a separate on got focus event in every field on the form, okay? We'll make a function, we'll do all of them at once to blank them right? And then we'll set whatever specific fields you want to have a message can have their own specific message. And we won't need any on lost focus events either because our function will be able to see if the user specified an empty string. So check it out. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut videos. There are hundreds of them now. So your membership is well worth the, and the, the very tiny investment to keep my puppies fed and to keep these videos coming. But this has been your fast tip for today. I hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends, and I'll see you next time.
If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click on the bell icon to select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Make sure you click the show more link down below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Even if you don't want to become a member, feel free to donate to my tip jar. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got puppies to feed. How do you become a member? Click on the join button below the video. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks. Silver members and up will get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class each month, and more. Gold members get access to download all of the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault, where I keep tons of different functions that I use. You'll also get a higher priority if you decide to submit any tech help questions to me, and you'll get one free expert class each month after you finish the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks, plus even higher priority for tech help questions, access to all of my full beginner courses for every subject, and one free developer class each month after you finish the expert classes. These are the full-length courses found on my website, not just for access to. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, and lots more. You can now become a Diamond sponsor and have your name or company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown in each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are gonna keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access. It's over four hours long, and I just updated it for 2021. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below that you can click on. And also, if you like Level 1, Level 2 is just $1. Yep, that's all, $1. And it's free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level, even supporters. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page on my website. You can send me your question there. While you're on my site, feel free to stop by the Access Forum. Lots of good conversations happening there. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course, YouTube. Once again, my name is Richard Ross. Thank you for watching this tech help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something today. I'll see you again soon.